Hi folks, uh, Mike the Boiler Man here. Uh, right, a quick video showing how to free off a central heating pump that's seized. Uh, I'm getting a lot of calls at the moment from people who are telling me their boiler lights and runs perfectly well for three or four or five minutes and then it shuts down and won't relight. Now this is caused by a jammed central heating pump or a circulating pump. The boiler is heating itself up to its correct temperature uh, and then it's turning itself off and because the pump isn't carrying away all that heat energy generated, the boiler won't relight and this presents to the customer as a failed boiler when actually it's a failure of the central heating pump to do any pumping. Now uh, I'm just going to put a couple of uh, photos up here. Uh, here is a picture of a Grundfos, uh, a Grundfos circulating pump. Uh, it's actually the one in my own oil boiler at home but it's the same as your gas boiler uh, pump. Uh, in the centre there is a big silver screw and if you take that big silver screw out as I'm going to do now uh, or as you can see in this photo of me unscrewing it you then expose the end of the pump motor shaft. Once the screw is out, uh, a little trickle of water will come from the pump. This is nothing to worry about, it's perfectly normal, uh, but you do need to catch it with a towel or something. Um, it won't get any worse, <coughs> it's just that the bearing at this end of the pump is lubricated by the circulating water. So there's a little pinhole uh, to supply water to that bearing. So anyway, having exposed the pump uh, and organised to catch the trickle of water, uh, you then use a small electrical screwdriver uh, to engage the little hole in the end of the motor shaft and give it a manually give it a turn, give it a spin. And this will free off the pump. Uh, once it's free, it will all start working again. If you're having to apply a lot of effort to free it off, or if it happens again and again and again, then you'll need a new pump. Uh, the reason pumps do it is pumping dirty water, unfortunately, so ultimately if even a new pump fails shortly after you've fitted it, then you'll need a power flush to cleanse the system. But that often doesn't happen, or it rarely happens. So anyway, there we are. Uh, once, that's, once the pump's free, uh, you then put the little silver screw back in again, do it up nice and tight, and you're done. That's it. Okay, so uh, if your boiler really does need fixing though, and uh, you'd like me to do it, give me a shout or get in contact. Uh, my details are just down below, uh, miketheboilerman.com. I'm based in Marlborough in Wiltshire, uh, but happy to travel anywhere at all. Um, so there we are, hope that helps. Thanks for watching, bye bye.